Hi everyone, welcome back to part three of my honey harvest process. Just a heads up, this part is extremely satisfying. I'm taking my uncapping knife and uncapping the honey. What's falling off right now is beeswax and comb. The majority of the comb and beeswax comes off with this knife, but what doesn't come off, I can use this pick. After the majority of the beeswax is off, I put it into my extractor. My extractor can fit two frames in it at a time. My extractor is a hand crank, so I did get a little bit of a workout doing this, but it was also pretty fun. The honey flings off onto the sides and can be filled from the extractor into a different bucket. You can still see some bits of comb, but don't worry, we're going to filter it through into a different bucket. Look how satisfying that is. After the beeswax is filtered, it can be bottled. Look at this delicious honey. It is so good. I can't wait to share with my friends and family. I highly recommend purchasing honey from a local beekeeper because you just know the honey is going to be delicious. Oftentimes, bulk produced honey has added preservatives and fillers, and it's just not the same raw honey that you can get from a local beekeeper. Thank you everyone for following along, and I hope you enjoyed watching the process. Make sure to follow for more beekeeping content.